I'm going to show you how to make your movie using Windows Movie Maker and your still images. Here you can see the window for Windows Movie Maker. This is what it looks like. And there's a couple of things that you're going to need to do first before you imp import your pictures. So go to Tools, click on Options, click on advanced and we're interested in this picture duration you can see now that the duration between pictures is five seconds we've got to get that way down we're gonna make it actually as small as possible with Windows Movie Maker and that's 0 0.125 seconds and that gives us a rate of 8 frames per second now remember that a film is 16 frames per second so we're going to still have to cheat on this a little bit, but for now we've got it at 8 frames per second, and that's the best we can do with this setting. You've got to do this before you import your pictures, or else it won't work. Alright, we'll click OK. And now we can import our pictures. And you can see over here where it says Capture Video, one of the options it gives you is Import Pictures. And now I just need to tell it where my pictures are at. My pictures are in my documents under my pictures go figure and now you can see all the pictures that are on my computer and the ones I'm interested in are the ones labeled scene one now the cool thing about your camera is that it will always label your pictures using a number and conveniently enough for us the first number number one is the first picture we took that's great don't monkey around with this because that's going to save you a lot of work. All right, so we choose the first picture, and rather than dragging and dropping them all one at a time, I'm going to scroll down all the way to the end where I've got my last picture at. Here we go, last picture. If I press and hold the control, or excuse me, the shift button, and then left click again, now you can see that. I've selected all of the pictures that I need. Okay, there they are. And I'm going to press the import button. Boom, now I've got all my pictures in Windows Movie Maker. You can see that I have from picture one all the way to picture 37. All right, again. I'm going to choose all of the pictures and the other keyboard shortcut for this is if I just press control A that selects all of them and then I'm just going to grab one and drag and drop it to this top area which is labeled video it'll take a few seconds but it's going to drag all of those pictures into the video portion and it's still working and things are going to be slow you're dealing with a lot of pictures here the computers are really going to have to work for it so got to be patient now you can see that all of those pictures condensed down to eight frames per second gives us not a whole heck of a lot of video so i can zoom in on my timeline you can see here we've got zero seconds to 10 seconds so those 37 pictures don't even make up 10 seconds of video so what I want to do is I do want to be able to see all of them and so I go here to this plus magnifying glass that says zoom timeline in and if I push that now we can get a better sense of where we're at so now you can see all of my pictures so if we play the video at eight frames per second let's take a look at it and you see it looks kinda choppy so now what we want to do is we want to smooth it out and the way we smooth it out is by increasing the number of frames per second now we can't do any more with the duration so now we've got to use another tool so we go up to tools and we go to video effects and now we've got all these different effects that we can apply to our video 
and we want to scan down and the one we're looking for is this one speed up double and so now we're going to try a little experiment I haven't done this before so I'm going to see if it works and if it doesn't then I'll show you the way that we, it definitely does work we're going to see if we can select all of our frames okay and then I'm going to drag and drop speed up double alright so it's not going to do it for all the frames so what we'll have to do is manually grab drag and put it on every single picture now this is going to take a little while because the computer is having to crunch a lot of stuff and so it will start to slow down and I recommend that you work in batches of about three to five seconds of video so you need to start breaking your film down into that that sort of length of time and that'll be something that your computer can sort of easily handle without getting too bogged down so we just keep doing this until we've covered all of the frames and it's definitely a time consuming process you can see why I said that even though it's only four minutes of video it's going to take a long time this is why I've been pushing you to be working and getting everything done every now and then it's going to just have a problem with what you're doing just slow it back down, be patient, everything will work. You'll do this on every single frame. All right, done. So let's take a look over here at what we've got now that we've changed our time. Much smoother. So that's what you're looking for. It looks a lot more like live action than stop motion. That's what we're shooting for. Now your next step is going to be to save your work and you want to convert this to a movie file because your computer will handle the movie files a lot better than it will handling 37 pictures. So what we'll do next is we will save our work and so 
we choose save to my computer and we're just going to call this scene one I'm going to save it in the my videos portion you guys are going to need to be saving stuff on your memory sticks or your storage cards whichever and we want it to be best quality for playback on the computer press next and so now it saves the movie and this can take a little while depending upon the size of your of your segment alright and now you can choose to play the movie if you want here it pops up in the movie there it is So it doesn't have any sound to it, but we'll take care of that a little bit later on. But for now, you've got your video, and everything's good to go.